In gladness I cry to thee, incline thine ear and give heed unto me, as I tell thee of God's conception without seed. For thou, O most pure, hast found grace before the Lord, such as no other woman ever found. O angel, help me to understand the meaning of thy words. How shall what thou sayest come to pass? Make, tell me clearly how I shall conceive who am a virgin maid, and how shall I become the mother of my Maker? Thou dost think, so it seems, that I utter words deceitfully. And I rejoice to see thy prudence, but take courage, O lady, for when God wills, strange wonders are easily accomplished. Thou dost think, so it seems, that I utter words deceitfully. And I rejoice to see thy prudence, but take courage, O lady, for when God wills, strange wonders are easily accomplished. There is no there is no more a prince from Judah's line, but the time is at hand in which Christ, the hope of the Gentile, shall appear. But do thou make plain to me, me how I, being a virgin, shall bear him. O virgin, thou dost seek to know from me the manner of thy conceiving, but this is beyond all inter interpretation. The Holy Spirit shall overshadow thee, in his creative power, and shall make this come to pass. My mother Eve, accepting the suggestion of the serpent, was banished from divine delight. Therefore I fear thy strange salutation, and I take heed lest I slip. I am sent as the envoy of God to disclose to thee the divine will. Why art thou, O undefiled, afraid of me, who rather am afraid of thee? Why, O lady, dost thou stand in awe of me, who stand in reverent awe of thee? I have learnt from the prophet who foretold in times of old the coming of Emmanuel, that is, that a certain holy virgin should bear a child. But I long to know how the nature of mortal men shall undergo the union with the Godhead. The bush that burnt with fire and yet remained unconsumed, disclosed in secret mystery that shall come to pass in thee, O pure maiden full of grace, for after childbirth thou shalt remain ever virgin. O Gabriel, herald of the truth, shining with the radiance of Almighty God, tell me truly, how shall I, my purity remaining untouched, bear in the flesh the word that has no body? I stand before thee in fear, as a servant before his mistress, and in all I am afraid to look at thee now, O maid. In his good pleasure shall the word of God descend upon thee, as dew upon the fleece. I cannot understand the meaning of thy words, for there have often been miracles, wonders worked by the might of God, symbols of figures contained in the law. But never has a virgin born child without knowing a man. Thou art amazed, O all blameless virgin. And amazing indeed is the wonder that comes to pass in thee. For thou alone shalt receive in thy womb the King of all who is to take flesh. It is thou who art prefigured by the utterances and dark sayings of the prophets and by the symbols of the law. How can he whom nothing can contain upon whom none can gaze dwell in the womb of a virgin whom he himself has formed? And how shall I conceive God the Word, who with the Father and the Spirit has no beginning? He who promised to thy forefather David that of the fruit of his body he should set upon the throne of his kingdom, he it is that has chosen thee, the only excellency of Jacob, as his spiritual dwelling place. Rece Receiving thy glad tidings, O Gabriel, I am filled with divine joy, for thou dost speak to me of joy, a joy without end. Divine joy is given to thee, O Mother of God. All creation cries unto thee, Rejoice, O Bride of God, for thou alone art pure virgin, wast foreordained to be the mother of the Son of God. May the condemnation of Eve now brought to be not through me, and through me may her debt be repaid this day. Through me may the ancient dew be rendered up in full. God promised to our forefather Abraham that it is his seed the Gentiles would be blessed. 
O pure lady, and through thee today the promise receives its fulfillment. Thou didst bring me good tidings of divine joy in the immaterial light, and his abundant compassion will be united in material body. And now thou dost cry unto me, O all pure, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice, O lady, rejoice, O pure virgin. Rejoice, thou vessel wherein God is contained. Rejoice, thou candlestick of the light, the restoration of Adam and the deliverance of Eve. Holy mountain, shining sanctuary, and bridal chamber of immortality. The descent of the Holy Spirit has purified my soul and sanctified my body. It has made me a temple that contains God, a tabernacle divinely adorned, a living sanctuary, and a pure and the pure mother of life. I see thee as a lamp with many lights, and as a bridal chamber made by God, as an ark of gold, O spotless maiden, receive now the giver of the law, who through thee has been pleased to deliver the corrupt nature of mankind. All mortal thought is overwhelmed, answered the virgin, as it po ponders the strange wonders of which thou tellest me. I am filled with joy at, the, at thy words, yet am afraid. I fear lest thou deceive me, as Eve was deceived, and lead me far from God. Yet, lo, thou criest out, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. See, thy difficulty is resolved, said Gabriel to this. Thou hast well said that this matter is hard to grasp. Obey, then, the words of thine own lips. Doubt not as thou it were deceitful, but believe in this thing as very truth. For I cry rejoicing, all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Childbirth comes from mutual love, such is the law that God has given to me, men. Said again she who is without reproach, I know not all the pleasure of marriage, how then dost thou say that I shall bear a child? I fear lest thou speakest in guile, yet lo, thou criest out, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy virgin, thou speakest to me of the customary manner whereby mortal men are born, but I tell thee of the birth of the true God, beyond words and understanding, in ways that he alone knows, he shall take flesh of thee. Therefore, I cry, rejoicing, O ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Thou dost appear unto me to speak the truth, for thou hast come as an angel messenger, bringing joy to all. Since then I am purified in soul and body by the Spirit, be it unto me according to thy word. May God dwell in me, unto him allow with thee, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. <laughs> 